I want to own my collection. I don't want my collection to own me. I'm also going to quit physical media. Away it goes. I can't go on. The pressure to have the next thing for my shelf. In my last video, you may remember I said, I'm going to quit physical media. And I've decided I'm going to do it. I'm going to quit physical media. Now, it's perhaps not quite as bad as I'm making it sound. I'm planning to quit physical media for 30 days. Over these 30 days, I'm going to make sure that I don't order any new physical media. I don't use any of my physical media. I want to kind of give a reset for my collecting and have that time to sit and think about what I own and maybe some of the things that can be cleared out. Over my years of collecting physical media, be it Laserdisc, or VHS, or DVD, or Blu-ray, or 4K, I've let things get out of control. And I don't think I'm ever gonna stop. <laughs> I found myself purchasing things I didn't really need, all for the collection, which is not the best way for me personally to collect. It's not the way I want to collect. I want to collect the movies that I love. I've been collecting for the sake of collecting. I've been buying anything and everything just because. I, want it all. I may see a movie in a thrift store or CAX that's just a pound or one pound fifty, so I'd pick it up for the collection. It's been the wrong way of me picking things up because there were movies that I didn't particularly care about and they've sat in my collection and on my shelf for no reason. Yes, they've perhaps been movies that I've watched and spent the time with, but there's absolutely no reason that they should be in my collection, which I want to be just the movies that bring me joy, the movies that I care about, or it has some kind of content that makes it special for me. My collection for me at the moment is so large that it sometimes brings me a sense of anxiety. I'm just overwhelmed with the sheer volume of movies that I own. I, I need to clear it out. I need to have some kind of clarity in mind. This 30 days will give me a break from that and hopefully give me the time to actually sit and consider what is in my collection and whether it stays in my collection as well. The other thing I've been considering recently with this is watching the way my kids consume their media. They're of a generation that is pretty much all digital and it's interesting to me watching them react to seeing my kind of collection when they know that they can easily access that online, be it through a streaming service or some other platform. And for something like physical media that I do hold quite dear, it's quite disappointing to see that my kids, when they see a Blu-ray or DVD on the shelf, they don't really give a shit. They can get everything digitally, even down to their Switch games. They will happily download a game. They don't need the physical media and they don't care about it like us. So I want to kind of live in that world for a few days and see how it makes me feel. Now, I know I'm a movie guy in particular, but I don't want to make this challenge easy on myself. So as well as quitting the physical media movies, I'm going to also commit to quitting physical media for my PlayStation games. Or books for music as well. I'm going to be wholly reliant on digital or other options. So these 30 days, I'm going to take that time to reflect on my collection and potentially curate down my collection and sit and really consider my reasons for collecting and what I actually have on my shelf. I've got a feeling there might be a big change coming. I'll potentially even show you guys what I've been hoarding and keeping hold of over the years as I work my way through what I have on my shelves and stored anywhere in my house. Uh, I want to really get on top of this. I want to own my collection. I don't want my collection to own me. And I want to feel better about what I'm owning and why I'm owning it. So from today, my physical media collection, be it Blu-ray, be it games, be it books, is now off limits for 30 days. Away it goes. You get that idea, right? I'm already feeling a little on edge about not being able to order anything. What if there's a new limited edition Arrow title that is announced that I can't order? What if there's a movie that I want to watch that's out on Blu-ray, like Eli Roth's Thanksgiving in the next couple of weeks that I'm not going to get my hands on straight away to be able to watch? 
it's this break has got to give me time to reflect and think about the purchases I'm making. I, I can't go on having so many movies that are just taking over everything. It's becoming a bind, it's becoming some kind of pressure. The pressure to have the next thing for my shelf, the pressure to own absolutely everything, the pressure to have as many titles as I can just to prove myself to be a collector. Does having a specific number of titles or having a large collection make you a collector? Or can being a collector just be a limited number if your collection has purpose and a reason? One of the worries that I have in mind at the moment, if I'm sorting through my collection and I'm moving some things on, either selling or donating them, then what if I suddenly get an urge to watch that movie again? Will I regret selling some of these titles? Should I just keep them anyway? Especially if they're pretty much worthless to anyone else, then why not just keep them for myself? I think it's this kind of mindset that keeps me holding on to too much, keeps me holding on to more things than I could possibly ever need. Should I keep them anyway? Do I need them anyway? I don't think I need this many. It's that collector mindset that just takes over and sometimes seems slightly irrational. Well, that's my challenge. Whether I regret starting it or not, time will tell, but I'm looking forward to giving it a try at the moment. I'm going to probably do a few videos as I'm sorting through things and trying to get to grips of my collection before it absolutely suffocates me. Let me know in the comments if you want updates along the way on how I'm getting along without physical media. Wish me luck.